Okay, so we have two points here. We have the point 2, 4 and the point negative 1, 6. Now these are xy points on the xy plane. Uh, they also are referred to as ordered pairs or coordinates. But basically there's two points we can plot and we want to know if the slope is uh, 2 thirds. Let's suppose somebody is uh, taking a little quiz on uh, finding the slope of a line and they say, well, I calculated the slope here as being two-thirds. So is this correct? Well, it could be correct, okay, but it could be wrong. We just don't know. What I'm counting on you uh, out there in YouTube land is to go ahead and calculate the slope and check uh, the answer and just tell me, hey, is this right or wrong? Now, if you're not sure how to calculate the slope correctly, well, then I'm glad that you, uh, you dropped into this video because this is absolutely critical in terms of algebra, okay? Now, if you wanna pause the video, go back and do some quick review on the slope, I don't have a problem with that, okay? As long as you feel like you can answer this question correctly, that's the main uh, thing. Now, finding the slope, again, is everywhere in algebra, and, um, you know, I don't wanna really kinda lead you on much more here, but I'm gonna show you some work, and I want you to be the judge of whether this work is correct. And then, of course, we'll talk a little bit more um, about this and reveal whether this is right or wrong. Okay, and I'm going to get into this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Uh, of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by following the, uh, following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses. I have uh, all the main courses like pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. Uh, but I also have many uh, courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for an exam like the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, GMAT, GRE, ACUPLACER, CLEP exam, uh, teacher certification exam, uh, maybe a nursing entrance exam. All these exams I'm mentioning have significant math sections on them. And if you don't get to the math on those particular exams, you don't pass the exams. And uh, of course, it has uh, serious negative consequences for your goals. So just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. I should have your exam. If I don't, Drop me a line and I'll help you uh, out the best I can. I also do a lot with uh, independent learners like homeschoolers. So if you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning system. And then obviously I help those of you who are just uh, struggling in your math class. Now, one thing I can't do for you that you must do for yourself if you want to be successful in math, and I'm assuming you want to uh, be successful in math, you know, you wouldn't be watching this uh, video otherwise. But the one thing you must do for yourself is take great math notes. Okay, so over decades of teaching math, one thing's apparent to me, those students who have excellent, fantastic math notes almost always do very well. And the reverse is true. Those students who are just not into taking math notes. Matter of fact, during math class, they'd rather look at their cell phone, talk to their best friends, and do their homework for other uh, classes during math class. Listen, I'm not saying that I made any, <laughs> I made all these mistakes and uh, more, except for the cell phone part because I went to school in the 1980s. But um, anyways, listen, uh, our world is full of distractions. I get it, okay? So I'm not trying to make you feel bad that you have a lot of distractions because we all have a lot of distractions. But I am trying to uh, tell you that if you can't stay focused, right, while you're learning math, you will not be successful. And the only activity I know of that will keep you engaged and focused is note-taking, right? That's a reflection of you paying attention. And you got to be paying attention every single day that you're learning math, okay? Then once you have your notes and you, you know, you need to study from these notes. So that's a process that requires work. Uh, requires you know a lot of effort so I know it's not exactly easy but it does pay off big time okay so definitely think about your notes see where you're at and improve if you uh, need to but uh, in the meantime you probably need something to study from so I offer detailed uh, comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra algebra 1 geometry algebra 2 and trigonometry you can find the links to those notes in the description of this video okay so uh, I'm going to get into this problem now, so if you don't want to see uh, the result just quite yet, go ahead and pause the video, but let's get to it. Now, here is the answer. Okay, we, uh, It's two-thirds, or 
this is the potential correct answer. We just don't know yet, but let's grade this work, okay? Well, we need to know how to calculate the slope. So the slope is calculated by the rise over the run of a line, okay? And the rise is the differences of the y's, so y1 minus y2, and then the run is the difference of the x's, x1 minus x2. Now, if this is not familiar to you, what I'm uh, doing here, then you probably need to do some basic review on the slope. And uh, I have tons of videos in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist on my channel that go over the slope. Okay, so if you're, you know, you know like looking at this and you're kind of confused already, then don't leave just quite yet, but it, it's you know pretty apparent to me that you're going to have to do more work on slope. But stick around uh, because we can go ahead and learn something uh, important in this video. All right. So uh, what we're going to do to calculate the slope, we're going to subtract the y's, okay, and then we're going to uh, that'll be our um, numerator and our denominators will be the differences of the x's. So let's see what this person did here. Okay. So they're calculating. Uh, the slope. Now, our y values are 6 and 4. So they said, okay, we got 4 minus 6. All right, boom, that looks good to me. These are the y values here. Remember, these are x, y points. Okay, so these guys here are our y's. All right, so it looks like they're subtracting the y's. And then here, these guys right here are the x's. So it looks like they're finding the differences of the x's here, negative 1. Uh, minus 2, okay, so uh, if we go through this 4 minus 6, I get negative 2, uh, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, that looks good, and so negative divided by negative is positive, so 2 thirds looks good, so what do you think, okay, should we give them full credit or not, mm, well, drum roll please, uh, unfortunately, this answer gets a big sad face, okay? Now, I wouldn't, you know, I mean, if this was like 10 points, you know, I would maybe give the person maybe 5 out of 10, all right? But this is wrong, okay? This is wrong. Now, some of you might be like, what are you talking about? They did everything right. Well, not quite, okay? Here is what they did wrong. And I'm going to show you the correct work here in a second. It's very subtle, but this is a super common mistake in algebra. So here we, we did four minus six. So we started with this four right here. We started with this information uh, uh, first. The, we took the y from this point first, okay? And we did uh, four minus six, all right? Now, when you do that, okay, you could, if you start with this point y, okay, first right there, the bottom value for your x must be taken from that same point. It needs to be two. Okay, not negative one, and that's a common mistake. All right, so if you're going to use this point's value first right there, then we got to use this value right there. Very, very common uh, common mistake when uh, people calculate the slope. So if you made this error, you know, you know, the whole idea here is to learn something from it, so you do not make this error. So let's take a look on how this actually is supposed to look. All right, so there's two ways. You uh, still get the same answer. So we're going to still take the differences of the y's. So here we'll take 4 and we'll subtract it from 6. So that's good. Now because I started with this point's information again here, i got to start with this 2. Okay? So 2 minus a minus 1, just like this. Okay? you got to be very careful here with these subtraction signs and everything else. So 4 minus 6 is negative 2. And two, uh, 2 minus and minus 1 is going to be 2 plus 1, or 3. So that is the answer, negative 2 over 3, or negative 2 thirds. Now, uh, in this problem here, the way I did this, I started with this, uh, if this point's information first. But I could uh, use the other uh, point uh, first. It's not a problem, okay? And you'll still get the same answer. So I could start with this y, and then this is my x first. So it's going to be 6, uh, 6 minus 4. Okay, that's my y's. And I have negative 1 minus uh, this 2 right there. Okay, now let's go through this. 6 minus 4 is 2. And negative 1 minus 2 or negative 1 plus, or negative 1 plus a negative 2 is negative uh, 3. By the way, just a little detail here. 
this I have this negative uh, sign uh, with this 2 in the numerator, and this is down with this 3 in the denominator. These guys are both equivalent to negative 2 thirds, so they're equivalent answers. So stylistically, uh, this negative sign really should be right here in front when you write it, but they all, uh, they're all they all equivalent. Okay, so slope can be, um, you know, it's that old saying, you know, the doubles and the details. It's all those little tiny little things that are so easy to, uh, to mess up. And uh, I'm sure your teacher was telling you this, and I'm sure somewhere this is in your notes. Now, you know, I'm not trying to be too funny here because, uh, listen, even when I was going to school, there's, a, you know, all, so much uh, information that you're not always going to get everything in your notes. So you're, that's why uh, when I say those students who do great have fantastic notes, meaning that when you write your notes down, go back and review, add in additional information and make it. Uh, your notes like just awesome, something you know, like something. And by the way, too, one other uh, uh, tip: uh, when you finish a math class, let's say algebra, and you have fantastic math notes, do not get rid of your math notes at the end of the school year. Okay, keep them because they'll come in handy in future math courses. Believe me. Okay. All right. So if this video was helpful in some way, as a matter of fact, if you liked it, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel. Uh, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time, have hundreds, matter of fact, probably over a thousand videos by now, uh, different videos organized from basic to advanced math on my channel, all there for you. My mission is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way um, to help you out. Okay, nobody should be failing math these days. There's so much free resources out there. Uh, again, you're going to have to do your part, like, you know, put an effort in and stay in focus, but uh, in terms of instruction and extra help, there's so much out there with uh, platforms like YouTube, etc. But uh, if you like my teaching style and you really want to continue uh, learning from me, my best uh, resources will be in my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.